Good morning Iva here and welcome to vlog number two. Today I'm at New Miller Dam Country Park which is just on the outskirts of Wakefield. Behind me is the A61 Wakefield Barnsley Road, about three miles south of Wakefield. There are various walks around the country park ranging from two to six miles. We're going to take a walk around the lake itself today which is around two miles. Behind me you can see one of two remaining lodges on the estate. This was originally part of the Shebert estate and the Pilkington family who owned this estate for 200 years built nine lodges mainly for the gamekeepers. There's only two lodges remaining, this one behind me which is the East Lodge and one at the far side of the lake which is the West Lodge. Originally known by its old Norse name Thurston Howe, the area took its name New Miller Dam around the 13th century when a man-made lake was made to power a corn mill. The lake itself, which is approximately 30 acres, has an average depth of only 8 feet. I've been coming to New Miller Dam since I was maybe oh, 6 or 7 years of age. I used to come here with my parents and my sisters, usually on a weekend. My parents had a, a pub for many years on the outskirts of Wakefield and we would come here generally on a Saturday and Sunday, have a walk around the lake and then finish off with a nice ice cream. Behind me you can see the boathouse which was built by William Pilkington. We're not sure of the year exactly when it was built but it first shown on a map in around the year 1820. It was used to entertain guests. The boathouse which fell into disrepair over the years has recently been modernised and is now a popular cafe. There are two pubs at New Miller Dam. One, the Dam Inn, which was traditionally the east side, Wakefield side of the dam, and the west side is the Fox and Hounds, which was once upon a time the Hemsworth side, the Hemsworth constituency. And both pubs had different licensing laws. So around 10, 10.30, um, on an evening in the late 60s and early 70s, the customers from the Fox and Hounds, which is on the Hemsworth side used to rush over the bridge up to the dam in for last orders on the Wakefield side. The path itself around the lake is very flat and it's suitable for wheelchairs and parents with young children and push chairs. There are two car parks. The main car park is opposite the Fox and Hounds on the west side. That's a big pay and display car park, but there's a smaller car park next to the dam in. The woods behind me are fantastic for children to explore. But what we're going to do today, we're going to walk around the lake itself and then we're going to take a second walk and go into the woods and do some exploring. We're now around three quarters of the way along the east side of the dam. And behind me you can see a footbridge which unfortunately is now closed. You used to be able to cross over this little bridge. I used to take my kids along and then scare them half to death telling the troll lived underneath, as you do. Lots of wildlife around. Geese, swans, ducks, moorhens. Just take a moment to enjoy. We've now reached the top of the dam and we're about to cross over onto the west side. But before we cross over, I'd like to take a look at this because it's new. The Wakefield Way, a 70 mile walk around Wakefield's rural boundary. Maybe not today, but maybe next time. So here we go, we're crossing over now. I'm going to leave you with some beautiful footage instead of looking at my ugly face all day. Now this takes us back down to the A61 Barnsley Road and there's lots of different paths that go into the woods. I love this time of day, there's not many people around 
I did come the other day to do some recording. I am actually, you're actually watching this from a, a GoPro Hero 8, which I bought the other day. My vlogging camera, which unfortunately gets a little bit too heavy and it's no good when it starts raining. This one apparently is waterproof. A picnic area and a small trail which you go around and it follows all the way around and comes back onto this path here. There. And there's another trail up into the woods. And who's this small chap? Oh yes, I forgot to mention, great for the kids, this one is Norm Richard, his job is a fisherman, he likes fishing, dislikes noisy children and scaring the fish away. How many ducks can you see on our way back? And there's Norm Richard. I know originally this was going to be a walking and talking vlog where I was going to be talking about health, fitness and weight loss but I've decided to actually keep this separate. I want to, oh that's the bridge that comes across the centre of the lake. The one through, I don't know if you can see that through the trees, that's the one that's being closed off. So yeah, I was going to be talking about the health and fitness things as I'm walking but I'm gonna just keep these vlogs separate just showing you the different walks please leave your comments below if you'd like me to talk about health and fitness then do so it's a new series I've launched and uh, obviously I want to know what you prefer ah there's something I spotted in the trees I used to do this with my kids when they were younger let's go and investigate yeah look at that that's cool just using all the dead wood and making a little house great fun a troll house I used to tell my kids that's where the trolls live when they're not under the bridge scaring the kids hello a family of ducks making their way back into the lake. Wow, I'm loving this GoPro. It's so much easier, so lighter, wider short, it's easy to use. Yeah, why well, didn't get one of these in the first place? Great fun. Don't know if you can see, but there's the boat house. And here's another happy chappy. This is Gnome Roger. He's a bat warden, hanging upside down in the woods. He dislikes early mornings. Hmm. Oh, and there's some of the bats you can see. Fantastic. Spin round, because we've got another one at the side of the lake. This young man with his binoculars. Gnome Muriel, bird watcher. Likes feeding the ducks, dislikes white bread. Don't know if you can see that guy, but we've got a small squirrel at the foot of the tree. I don't want to scare him off, but I'd like to get him in the camera shot. Hello.
Hello beautiful. Having his breakfast. Or maybe his lunch. Or maybe it's a girl. This is what it's all about. Nature is just wonderful. I want to dedicate today's vlog to my dad who's a little bit under the weather he's got some health issues he's battling with at the moment so this one's for you dad love you I know I don't tell you very often but I do love you you're a great man and if I can be half the man that you are then I've made it so here we are we're coming back down towards the the road now and the main car park which is just behind the trees on the left hand side take another look out at the dam itself opposite is the east lodge there excuse my finger and this building directly in front is the corn mill it's not the original corn mill I think this one is probably about 150 200 years old but please don't quote me on that I'm not sure it has been a, a restaurant and a beauty mill in the past and I believe it's going to open again as a restaurant in the near future and that's the dam in over there the pub I was talking about so this is the main car park opposite the Fox and Hounds and this is the West Lodge recently this was a restaurant and it looks it's a grade 2 listed building so I know there's uh, lots of restrictions on any extensions it looks like this could be a restaurant again I'm going to start picking up quite a bit of noise now as we approach the A61 I was going to do some extra walks in the woods but unfortunately the battery on my GoPro is down to about 10% so before it cuts off I'm going to turn the camera around. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you on the next vlog. My name is Ivor. Take care. Peace.